been a while since you've seen a haul since last October. <laughs> Mostly because, let's face it, I buy yarn only in small quantities when I need it. Except during yarn crawl! <laughs> um, hopefully by now I've had the vlog up. If I do, I'll have it linked down below. Um, apologies for that, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> um, so hello everyone! If, if you're new here, welcome! It's nice to meet you. Please leave nice comments down below. If you're old to the channel, not old in general. <laughs> Yay! Yarn Crawl! So again, every year we get a little passport with information about the shops and things to see and do. And it's really fun. This year I went with my mother-in-law and a friend of hers, which may be surprising to some people that I actually like to hang out with my mother-in-law, but I do. <laughs> um, and it was really great. We hit enough shops to be entered in for the grand prize. And if you haven't noticed, I'm actually wearing my prize from last year's crawl. Um, so this is, I should take it off and show you. This is a design that a wonderful woman named Susanna designed. And it was a mystery knit along for the yarn crawl. There was a crocheted one as well. I know the color doesn't come up quite right, but maybe if I get it a little bit closer, you can see it. Oh, just gorgeous. So you use two different colors and with some variegation in the stitches some yarn overs, and you get this beautiful, lovely little pointed edge down here at the bottom. Oh, it was just a thrill to make. It was my first mystery, my first knit along, and it was wonderful. It was just absolutely great. I enjoyed the whole thing immensely. Um, Really want to do another mystery knit along again. Very fun. Um, but she's got beautiful patterns. All of her gorgeous laces and points and beads. And uh, it was just great. So I did use my skein of Ella Ray uh, Lace Merino that I won last year. And I used it for this. And I also bought the blue. My contrasting color is... Oh Lord, I'm gonna forget how to pronounce the name again. Arnica? I know that's not right. Nuble is the base. But it's a Peruvian brand and it's a merino silk blend, which I didn't realize it was silk when I bought it. Honest to goodness, everyone I tell that goes, oh sure, that's what you told your husband. No, honest to goodness, I did not realize it had silk in it until after I'd already started knitting this. And I was like, wow, this is so soft and shiny. What's in this? And I look at the brand, the label, and I go, oh, 25% silk. That's why. <laughs> so anyways, I know what you're really here for is the lovely yarn goodies that I got. Well, let me take you through. Apologies for that. That was my phone. My crawl bag. So this year, as you can tell, they designed it a little bit differently, and it's the 10th annual yarn crawl. So awesome, so excited to be a part of this event now. It's just great. I love it. It's so much fun. You get to meet all these really nice people and see all these really pretty yarns and all these beautiful shops, and it's just, oh, so much fun. So this is the bag with the date. 10th annual yarn crawl, got our little boot of course, and the scarf that wraps all the way down. So I started off at my favorite shop in the world, Yarn Barn! <laughs> I know last year was my first time visiting, but uh, they have adopted me, and I've adopted them, and we just, it's a great relationship there. But surprisingly, I got my last game there, not my first game. So... <laughs> 
Yes, yes, I did. It was very funny how that worked out. But that's how it happened. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I had to go there first after the day job on Friday the 7th. And it was just great and wonderful and all so much fun. Um, so next I went to You're So Crafty in Seguin on the 8th with my mother-in-law and her friend. And I didn't pick up anything there. They had some really pretty stuff. But I had a plan this year, and I did not want to deviate from my plan. I know last year I tried to get something at every shop. But this year I was really looking for two things. One, sock yarn. I have become obsessed with knitting socks. I know I've only been knitting for about a year. But I have become obsessed with knitting socks. They are just so great. I want my entire sock drawer full of knitted socks. Which is why I started this little thing with my friend where we were going to do the Hill Country Yarn Crawl Sock Drawer. <laughs> um, I think we only stuck to that at a few shops, but we tried our best. Um, so when I went to You're So Crafty, they had some great stuff. They had some sock yarns, but I was trying to look for more unique sock yarns. They had a lot of your typical brands that you can find at almost every shop. So I didn't get anything there, which I'm sorry, but I did receive something from there. Um, so the friend that came with us, she started this little trend of getting stitch markers at every shop. So these are the two she got from You're So Crafty, a little sheep and a little You're So Crafty. And they're really adorable, they're the ones with, you can open them up and close them so it's great for crochet or knitting, both, and I have my little pile which I'll show as each, as each shop comes along. So I did get that. Next we went to Lucky You in New Braunfels, which, lucky me, I picked up some Heavenly Fiber Platinum Suck Yarn. Oh, the stuff. The color just screamed. I mean, hopefully you can see this color. I tried to get the lighting to be cooperative, but look at those blues. And... They're just so pretty. I haven't decided whether I'm going to do just a vanilla sock or something with more of a pattern to it for this one. But, oh, it's great. I just, it's got that nylon for a little bit of stretch. You can really see the stretch there. Um, it's great. This one is 75% merino, 25% nylon. And it's, well, just heavenly. <laughs> and I love the name too, Singing the Blues. It sung to me. <laughs> Definitely sung to me. Um, next, we went to Ply in Wimberley, which was really crazy. We got lost in Wimberley. Wimberley is one of the smallest towns in Texas, and we got lost because we drove in. The GPS told us to park in a certain spot, so we parked there and we decided to walk the rest of the way. And GPS told us to turn right, we should have turned left. <laughs> it was a mess. But we got there after walking around the town for a while and asking people, and them sadly not knowing what in the world we were talking about when we asked, where's Ply? What? <laughs> um, so that was kind of interesting. but. They had on display some Pandia's Jewels, and again, I stuck to my sock theme, and I got some snug in this gorgeous color. Oh, this is not doing it justice. Look at these. It goes from this dark purpley, we got some orange, some blues, grays, even a little bit of green in here. It's really not picking up the color. <laughs> but, oh, I got some better pictures on my Ravelry, so again, I'll link that below. But the colors in this, if you could really, s oh, that's a little bit better. 
over here. They are just gorgeous. Well, I'm using this one for my wonderful hubby. He's going to get this one because of the name. Look at that. Out of my Vulcan mind. I just, I love the name. It's so <laughs> great. Um, but this is fingering weight, which isn't an issue for guys' stuff. My only issue is he has requested me to make him a scarf out of this. Which, oh, it'll be so nice and warm and lovely, but... Does anybody have any guys' patterns for fingering weight scarves? Because I've been looking and it's really hard to find men's styles fingering weight patterns. It's surprisingly difficult. I don't know why, but it is. Um, so if you have any suggestions, either message me on Ravelry or leave a comment below with the link to the pattern. Whatever is easier for you. Help! <laughs> I cannot find patterns for this beautiful yarn. Oh. Oh, it's just gorgeous. It's Just gorgeous. I, he may not actually get it because I may steal it. But it's gorgeous! I love it! <laughs> um, next we went to the Sated Sheep, which was really cute. I haven't been there before. They also sell wine, so you are very happy when you go to the Sated Sheep. Um, they had some dyers there, some local dyers that had their stuff on display, and it was gorgeous. But it was just out of my budget, and I wasn't in love with it enough to justify getting it. So, of course, if you know me, I hit the sale bin, and I found this little pretty. This lovely deep, deep maroony red, ruby red. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous yarn. And it's called Frog Tree Pettibue Sock Yarn. as stuck to my theme. Um, and interestingly enough, it has 20% bamboo, which I've never, I've never worked with bamboo before. It does have a lot of stretch, so it'll be great for socks. Um, I've got a couple patterns in mind. I'll admit I'm kind of going between a few. I'm thinking either the I Love Bees pattern, and I can't remember who it's by, but I'll link it down below. Or, um, Come Along Pond in the Doctor Who Companion sock, sock ebook. I'm, I'm thinking about going, it's one of the two. One hasn't won out over the other yet, so we'll see which one wins. But I'm thinking either one of those. I think because it's just the solid color, it'll really show the textures in both of those really well. That's what I wanted, something with a lot of texture, because it is this beautiful, solid color. I mean, it has hardly any variegation when you open it up there. But um, I think one of those will do really well. Uh, next we went to Hill Country Weavers, where I may have gone a little crazy in the yarn department. So, I can't remember if I explained this last year, but at every shop they have certain yarns that are their featured yarns they're 25% off, which is awesome when you're looking for yarns, especially if they're really nice ones. And I have been on the lookout since I finished my last sweater to really make another sweater. And if you don't know, I love watching British knitting podcasts. They are amazing. 
they have so much fun it looks like and they all just love their knitting so much which I love I love 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 well they always talk about the John Arbor textiles knit by numbers is one of the ones that my eye has caught quite a few times Hill Country Weavers is now a supplier of John Arbor textiles knit by numbers not only are they a supplier but it was also one of the featured yarns. So it was 25% off per skein. <laughs> so needless to say, I bought a lot. <laughs> but with justification. So I bought enough, and let me see if I can get the photo up, for, and I don't know if it's going to blow it out or not, this lovely sweater pattern, which is not picking up the color changes in the yoke very well, by Isolde Teague. And I got one, two, three, and pretend there's a fourth lovely over here, but I may have already wound it up because I got too excited. I got four of the gray, and my contrasting colors for the yoke are going to be this lovely cobalt blue, and this gorgeous yellow. I'm so excited. <laughs> so this will be the three colors together. Oh, that blue's not showing up very well. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm... As you can tell, really excited because I already started knitting this. Um, oh, I'm so this is so soft. For being 100% wool, this really is just deliciously soft. I, I loved the colors when I was seeing them in other people's videos. But feeling them, oh my goodness, it doesn't feel like wool, it feels like, I don't know what, but I love it. Ah, oh, it is just so soft, and it's developing this nice little haze as I'm knitting with it, which I just love. Um, and it smells like sheep. It's very, very sheepy. It's very sheepy. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Which is really funny. We have a um, little corgi, a Pembroke, Pembroke Welsh corgi. He's our, our baby. He's, our, he's the love of our life. And he's our child. And I don't care how much you make fun of me for saying that, but he is. He's our baby. That's, that's our baby. For many reasons and when I pulled these out to show my husband he was like zoom drawn to it he loves this yarn and we started joking around that because um, he knows he's British he's a British dog that he can tell this is from British sheep <laughs> don't know if that's true but it's a really nice story to think about um, yeah, so this yarn is just, yeah, I just, I can't, I can't wait for this sweater to be ready, and I feel really bad because I've been knitting on it for the past two evenings, and shame on me because I have several orders I actually need to be making instead of my selfish sweater. <laughs> um... Oh, it's just so soft and so nice and lovely and I just oh, I can't wait till this sweater is done so I can just wear it all the time it's not quite cold yet here in Texas um, but you know I can crank the AC up <laughs> oh shoot I forgot to be showing the stitch markers so at 
here. We got this one. Ah, lucky you. It says love. Let me see. Oh, it's not focusing. It says love. That one was from Lucky You. Um, then next we got these two little beauties at Ply. They kind of have like a marbly effect. Real pretty. They're not showing up quite well, but real pretty. Then at the Seated Sheep. We got these little cuties, little duckies, and there was one black, black swan, very cute, very, very cute. I wanted that one, but I didn't get it. <laughs> um, and also, we got this little guy, which, oh, it's just not focusing. Mm. Oh well, it's a little boot with the knitting needles that you got with your bag and passport. And on the other side, it says Hill Country. That's just not going to show it, is it? It has in there Hill Country Yarn Crawl 10 years. Very cute. It's just not showing up very well. Um, so then, we didn't get any at Hill Country Weavers. They didn't really have anything unique, and we were trying to stick to the unique. So we didn't get anything there, but I got all those yarn, <laughs> um, which I just love. I'm seriously so excited to get it. I'm sure you can tell, but I'm very excited about it. It's great. Um, next, we went to Gage, which, oh, they had some really great indie dyers, but I was reaching the end of my budget. I wonder why. <laughs> um, it really wasn't that bad to buy that much, surprisingly. Um, but I was nearing the end of my budget, so I was being very, very, very selective at this point. So I didn't get anything at Gage, but oh my goodness, they had some gorgeous stuff. If you want to look at it, go check on the vlog of the crawl. Really, really, really gorgeous stuff. Oh, amazing. I, I really don't think I got enough footage in that vlog, but um, it was great. There, we did get stitch markers from there, though. It was my turn, and I picked out these two little cuties. One has bronzy with the clear bead. And then the other one is kind of a coppery with a turquoise. You really can't see the turquoise that well. But, um, oh, it's gorgeous. Just gorgeous. So, that was fun. Um, then I hit the San Antonio shops during the week. Went to Yarn of War, which, of course, is one of my favorites also. They're always great. Um, Again, didn't really see anything that screamed at me. I was waiting for stuff to scream at me because I was nearing the end of my budget. And like I said, I was trying to be selective. Um, next, we I went to Inskane, which was, again, I, nothing really screamed at me. I just, I, I didn't find anything I really wanted. Um, Unraveled, I, I, which is the newest shop to the San Antonio area, they're great. I remember I went in there last year when they had just opened and they didn't have a very large selection. But I'll give them this much. They have grown so much since last year. It's, I, I, I gotta give them props. They're doing a really good job. I'll, I'll go in there and I'll find certain things that I can't find at Yarn of and Scanner or Yarn Barn, which is really nice. It's nice to have that variety. They have a lot of the Savvy Skeins, which is a local dyer here. Um, they even have their own special um, yarn. I'm not thinking of the right words. Colorway! They have their own colorway in Savvy Skeins specifically for 
unraveled, which is great. I applaud them. Yay! We're doing that, which is really awesome. They also have hedgehog fibers, which is great because the only other place I saw that at was Ply and Hill Country Weavers. Um, it's kind of hard to find that. That's a, another British, not British brand, that one's from Ireland. Um, but it's hard to find here and it's hard, you don't want to pay shipping because the shipping can be ridiculous to come all the way to America. But you want the pretty yarn. <laughs> Um, so I thought about getting some either hedgehogs or savvy skeins from Unraveled, but they're here in town, so I kind of just figured I could go get them another day. Sorry, Unraveled. <laughs> uh, but the girls there are really sweet, too. They're really great. Um, they're doing very well for a new shop. Very proud of them. I didn't go up to Tinsmith's this year. There was a couple incidents during the week that unfortunately prevented me from doing that. Um, I really wanted to though because I know some of my buddies go up there on the last Saturday of crawl and I really wanted to, but instead I went back to Yarn Barn and hung out there, which is where, like I said, I got my last skein. I got it from a local dyer called Lone Star Arts. And this is her Lucky Leprechaun Dark Gray. Yay! And, oh gosh, it's just this beautiful gray with all these rainbowy specks and flecks. And, oh, I can't wait to knit this up. And look at that stretch. I mean, it's 100% superwash merino, but it's got some stretch to it. I love it. And it's just gorgeous every time I look at it I see another color in here and you open it up and you just see this this riot of color knit along <laughs> um, but you do and it's just oh it's just gorgeous I was stuck between this one and one of her others um, spiky which is this pistachio kind of pistachio cactusy green with brown and black and dark green flecks in it and it was really cute too. Um, but this this one kind of won my heart over. Um, I think because of the rainbow aspect. I don't have very many rainbowy stuff but I like the fact that it was rainbow with gray. It I was on a bit of a gray streak this year, but that's okay. That's good. You gotta have, gotta have a theme. But again, Hill Country Yarn Crawl sock drawer. So I'll be knitting quite a few socks in the near future. I'm working on my sweater for this year already. John Arbor, I love you. <laughs> Don't worry, my husband's not jealous because he thinks it's pretty yarn too, <laughs> so we're good there. Um, other than that, great fun this year. I had a terrific time. I got to see lots of people I'm getting to know in the knitting community. Ah, it stopped filming. I'm so sorry. Um, hopefully, I don't know where I stopped. I couldn't find it. So, um, back to talking about the indie dyers I met. I met Vice. And if I'm repeating myself, I apologize with the lovely lady behind Vice. And I also met the lovely woman behind KC Pockets to Go. She's going to start doing a project bag monthly club, which is really cool. And now I'm all stuttery because the camera stopped. <laughs> uh, <laughs> stupid camera. <laughs> oh, I love you. I'm sorry. Um... <laughs> I just sound like a crazy woman now. Um, she was really nice. We also saw at, where was it? Hill Country Weavers, the, there, there was a woman there helping out, but I, I didn't catch her name and I didn't talk to her very often, mostly because I was distracted by the John Arbor. So, apologies. Um, then, 
the last weekend of the crawl, all day Saturday, I hung out at Yarn Barn, and I met the wonderful couple behind um, Yarn Carnival. The, the, they're great. They really are great. They're adorable. Um, her name is Anna, and his name is Matt, and they are just the sweetest, sweetest couple. I just love them. Hi, guys! If you're watching, I don't think you are, but hi! Um, they were so sweet and talkative, and we were just talking about yarn and patterns and shows that they're doing coming up, and they just have such a full schedule, but it sounds so exciting, so amazing, really, truly wonderful. Just some of the nicest people you'll meet. Um, oh, so great. And... That's, I think, about it as far as the Indie Dyers that I got to meet personally. Um, this year, pretty much all good things throughout the entire crawl have... All these lovely patterns to sort through. I'm still sorting through them all, trying to figure out um, which ones I want, which ones I don't want, which ones... I'm going to keep because I don't think I'm going to keep some of them just because I don't think I'm ever going to make them. But it's still fun getting all those lovely new patterns. Um, again, really glad I budgeted this year. Really glad I set aside money so that I could get a lot of the things I wanted. There was a few items, like I said, that I really wanted but didn't get, which is sad. But next year! <laughs> Because I will be doing it again next year. And I do want to save up money again. I'll probably vlog again. Um, but just a little side bit. If you're done with in only interested in watching for all the yarn crawl goodies, it was nice to have you here. But I'm going to go off on a little tangent now. So unless you don't want to hear that, it was nice to have you <laughs> Um, so one of the things I did want to bring up was I'm debating about doing something similar, maybe with the items I make, either for myself or the ones that I'm going to sell for custom orders depending on the item, and maybe possibly doing a mini, mini podcast. I, I, I don't want to call it that because I don't know that I can stick to a schedule I don't know how often I would do it, and I don't even know if y'all want to watch me do something like that. But if you are, please leave a comment. Don't just like it. I, I do want comments regarding this, and I I'll think about it. I'm still, I'm really on the edge about it, but I feel like it'd be fun. I like watching them, and I find them interesting, and... I don't know. I don't know if I'd have the time, quite honestly. I am doing a lot now. I do have a lot on my plate. Um, but it's just something I'm bouncing around in my head. Um, it would be a nice way for me to show off patterns that I'm developing, which I think would be a good reason to do it. It would be fun to show some of the stuff I've made because in case you haven't noticed, last year I only did crocheting and now I'm knitting <laughs> um, quite a bit. And I'm, like I said, designing patterns. And those are popping up into my head more and more. I, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't decided. But I would like some feedback and some comments either here on Ravelry or wherever you see me, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Um, again, I'll leave all the social media links down below because I'm everywhere. <laughs> I do like the digital world quite a bit. Um, but yeah, so I just, um, I just, just want to see what y'all's thoughts are on that sort of video. I will try to put up some more tutorials. I know I've been teaching classes at the Yarn Barn and so those have come in handy for some of my students. 
So I will be posting more about tutorials and I think that's about it. It was very nice to have you guys here sit and listen to me jibber jabber for a while. And have fun! Happy yarn shopping and enjoy videos and have a great day! It's been a while. Um, anyways, let's get started. Um, 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 um